What's going on, guitarists? So a lot of you guys saw my story on my Instagram, and you guys all asked me what were my thoughts on the Gibson acquiring Mesa. And I know there's so much hate online, and everyone knows I own Mesa, and I own Gibson, and everyone knows like all of Gibson's bad rap that's been happening in the past few years. So what do I think about it? Well, I think one, I think everyone needs to calm their horses. I don't think there's, it's, it's going to change anything. I really don't. I don't think Mesa is that dumb of a company to just sell it over to Gibson. But at the same time, like I don't know the, the, the back desk work that was happening. Like who made the business deal? Like did someone die and they're selling it? I don't know. But a lot of people are flipping out that Gibson's going to ruin Mesa. And I don't believe that. I honestly think it's going to help Mesa. But I don't know everything. I'm just some guy in his 20s that plays the amps, loves the amps, plays the guitars, loves the guitars. I don't really have anything bad to say about a lot of amp companies. Um, I have more positive to say about the guitar amps of today than I do negative. Um, there's a, a bunch of great stuff out, and I think Mesa has always been amazing. Um, I will say though, a lot of my friends that I've been, um, in contact with, they had got a Mesa Badlander, like the new dual, uh, new dual wreck, and they weren't happy with it. And I thought that was really crazy because, you know, the newest thing comes out, everyone talks so well about it. But anyways, going back to the whole thing of Gibson and Mesa, I don't have an issue with it. I don't really care. The reason why I don't care is because one... I buy all my stuff used. There's plenty of guitars that are in the used market that were good. Um, I don't need to buy this gear new. Gibson doesn't endorse me. Mesa doesn't endorse me. So I don't really feel the need to support them by buying something new and then can never sell it for what I bought it for. So if Mesa starts coming out with a bunch of shitty quality crappy made amps, well, that sucks. I mean, that sucks that there's nothing new that's going to come out that I'm going to want. But I already own a Mesa Duel, I've owned a Mark V, I've owned a Mesa Roadster, I've owned a Triple, I've owned a two-channel Duel, um, I've owned, yeah, the multi-watt Duel, like, you know what I mean? Like, Mesa's already made such good stuff that I'm good. I just can put a pedal in front of it and change the tone completely. Um, and now, uh, this whole rap with Gibson um, makes no sense to me, like, Everyone says, everyone's like, oh, Gibson sucks now. I'm like, you don't even own a Gibson and you're talking shit. Like, I don't know. It's like it's like the hate train. It's like when, when the band Trapped became like an asshole, everyone jumped on. Even I jumped on, you know, because like that band is a piece of shit. But everyone jumps on this whole like Gibson makes shitty guitars now. Really? Did you ever go down the guitar center into your local store and play one? The one that everyone said the year sucked? Because... The best Les Paul I've played and I've owned is actually the worst year that Gibson started coming out with um, Les Pauls, or like Gibsons in general. 2015, I have a, a traditional. It's flawless. I love it. And everyone says that Gibsons were so bad and they're not coming out as well made. And I mean, things change. And I'm sure like there was a weird thing with like the managers or whatever of CEOs of Gibson and how that all changed and they kept going bankrupt and all that other bullshit. But like when it comes down to it, their guitars have always been flawless and I don't care. Okay, so their paint is not as nice because somehow they made a mistake. Okay, yeah, I get it. You pay that much money for a guitar, you deserve to have the paint flawless. I get that. But again... I've never played a shitty Gibson, ever. I have Gibsons that literally the frets are like worn down and it has a broken headstock and everything. Still plays better than most guitars. <laughs> so like, I don't think Gibson's a bad brand. My custom SG is a Gibson, so I don't know like why you guys think that I hate on Gibson, but I don't. It's I don't. I don't really care what anyone thinks. Like, I play them. I think they sound amazing. There's just something about when you strum a chord on a Gibson, it just sounds sonically massive. And I actually recorded with my SG with rhythm guitar for the first time the other day. And honestly, like, no problem. It just sounded amazing. 
So, but uh, I really hope that Mesa and Gibson only like u- like use each other and get bigger and more successful because I will say Gibson and Mesa are kind of like falling behind onto the tier of they're famous and they're really successful, but they're not really keeping up with the times. Mesa never comes out with new amps and like they just came out with the Badlander but I feel like that was so way overdue like they should have had a new one 10 years ago and they have like the multi-watt or the the miniature rectifier but honestly that one wasn't that good <laughs> um, but like I don't know I just think Mesa is like kind of behind as far as technology goes I think what they did was amazing and I think what Gibson did was amazing but I am hoping that both of these companies looked at each other and say, what do we do to make a good, modern, new brand? You know, like Fender, I feel like, is more, they come out with more modern stuff, and they always are trying to invent something new, and like, like because you also got to keep in mind, um, uh, what do you call it? Fender owns EVH, so EVH came out with like a bunch of new amps, you know what I mean? Like, Fender's on top of it, and I think... Gibson and Mesa need to really team up, and I hope they realize that because I love those brands, you know. And um, what sucks, and I, the only thing I will say that's negative about both of them is they are expensive. There's not really a. Uh, there are cheap Gibsons if you look. If you look at like some of the old fadeds, um, they're not a lot of money. They're six hundred dollars. That's an awesome guitar for 600 bucks. That's still what I recommend. Um, I know everyone's going to Kiesel's and Charvel and Jackson. and I don't know. I I don't really see the hype. And I've played Kiesel's. And they just feel like they're a new brand. I don't feel like they're anything better. I don't think, you know. I think the only thing that's kind of changed the game a bit is like using fan frets as guitars. I think those are pretty cool, but that's the only thing like Kiesel has offered. I'm just gonna keep my Gibson like, and I play low tunings with my Gibsons. I play drop A sharp B, still holds tune. I use 59 gauge strings and 56. Sound awesome. A lot of people are like, you have to have a, a baritone. Fuck your baritone. <laughs> um, but anyways. There's my two cents. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't overthink this too much. Keep playing guitar. Peace.